Bonjour mesdames et messieurs et bienvenue chez mon neuvième épisode sur la grammaire du français. Hello everyone and welcome to my ninth episode on French grammar. In this episode, I will explore indirect object pronouns. In my last episode, I looked at direct object pronouns and to introduce these, we learned about intransitive and transitive verbs. There is a third class, ditransitive verbs. Ditransitive verbs are verbs that take three arguments, the subject, the direct object and an indirect object. Where the direct object was operated on by the verb, making the direct object the patient of the verb, the indirect object often plays the role of recipient of the verb. To demonstrate this, let's take the example, I give lessons to high school students. In this example, the verb give is ditransitive. You can see there are three phrases that relate to the verb, the subject I, the direct object lessons, and the indirect object high school students. In English, you can see the preposition to helps to, di to helps to identify the indirect object, but it isn't always present. Keeping in mind the idea of a recipient is a useful way to identify the indirect object of the verb. The other role that the indirect object plays is that of beneficiary. The word that can help us to determine a beneficiary is for. For example, I make videos for my high school students. In this example, the high school students are a beneficiary. In French, the preposition a is the equivalent to the word to in English and can help to identify a recipient indirect object. But unlike in English, it's always present. So it's a little bit easier to identify a recipient in French. To use the same example as before, I give lessons to high school students would be je donne des cours à des lycéens. Similarly, the word pour is the French equivalent to for and is used to introduce a beneficiary. Je fais des vidéos pour mes lycéens. I make videos for my high school students. In French, verbs that are always conjugated with the preposition à are verbs that take indirect objects. For example, téléphoner à, to telephone someone. Anytime you use these verbs or anytime you are doing something for someone, you will be using an indirect object. Now that we know a little bit about indirect objects, we can look at the indirect object pronouns in French. When we use an indirect object pronoun, we replace the word à or pour as well as the noun phrase we are wishing to replace. I'll now present each of the indirect object pronouns with their corresponding subject pronoun. The indirect object pronoun for je is me. You might notice this is the same as the direct object pronoun. For example, il me parle, he is speaking to me. The indirect object pronoun for tu is te. This is also the same as the direct object pronoun. For example, il te parle, he is speaking to you. The indirect object pronoun for il is lui. For example, il lui parle, he is speaking to him. The indirect object pronoun for elle is also lui. So the same example, il lui parle, can also mean he is speaking to her. The indirect pronoun for nous is nous. This is the same as the subject pronoun and the direct object pronoun. For example, il nous parle, he is speaking to us. The same is true for vous. Il vous parle, he is speaking to you. The indirect object pronoun for il is leur. Il leur parle, he is speaking to them. And finally, the indirect object pronoun for elle is also leur. Il leur parle. He is speaking to them. The placement of these pronouns is the same as for direct object pronouns. Where multiple pronouns occur in the same sentence, there is a set order in which they appear. And I'll cover this in my episode on the order of pronouns. That concludes my episode on indirect object pronouns. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please post a comment and I'll do my best to respond.